well, if I could recreate some of what my mum gave me for other girls who maybe don't have that. So um, to be fair, this is a legacy um, initiative, really keeping my mum's um, name alive, um, but also making sure that her magic touches other girls and young women. We're here to make a dent in the universe or else why are we even doing this? If I don't think I cut out all the fun stuff, because that to me is the fun stuff. Build that audience, because if you've got no one to sell it to, then it's just going to flop and die. And no one likes a floppy, right? I'm yet to meet a woman who just kind of grew up confidently in her body. Welcome to my podcast. I'm Nicole Bremner. Join my weekly conversations with really interesting people as I delve into the stories and experiences that make them uniquely them. About 11 years ago, I decided I wanted to start something and I thought it was a mentoring program. And I did a lot of research and most of my research actually led me to the US. So like they're quite trailblazing in terms of mentoring programs in, in the States. Um, however, whilst I was doing my research, my mum passed away. Mm. So 10 years ago, my mum was diagnosed with cancer and died after 10 weeks. Um, and within that period, one of the things that my mum left behind was she had enjoyed her 52 years of life. So she died at 52. That's young. But one of the things that she loved doing was serving, serving mm -hmm. people. So she was literally the glue in our family. And I was just like, I can do this. I can do this full time because my mum's legacy has enabled me to. Um, and I now know as, as an adult, because I was 32 when my mum died, um, what it feels like not to have a cheerleader unconditionally. Um, mm -hmm. But I know what it feels like to have one. Yeah. And I thought, what if I could recreate some of what my mum gave me for other girls who maybe don't have that? So um, to be fair, this is a legacy um, initiative, really keeping my mum's um, name alive, um, but also making sure that her magic touches other girls and young women. Everything we do is really about transformation. So we start working with girls from the age of eight. Um, and people are like, eight's a bit young. Um, not really, because they often say that you, you will know a man or a woman by the time they're seven, in terms of their mm -hmm. character really starts to build from mm -hmm. that point. But what we know for sure is we live in a very fast paced world and childhood has changed dramatically because of social media um, and the exposure the kids have to so much information. So um, we wanted to be able to work with girls from eight. So we have a program called BEAM and it stands for Beautiful, Empowered and Me. Um, and we work with them from eight to 11. And it's really about supporting them in gaining self-worth, self-love, understanding what healthy relationships are and the role that they want to play in their lives and in others. So it's really about grounding the character of young girls really early um, and giving them that that sense of, I love me. Because as we know, social media can often make girls feel that they're not good enough, they're not thin enough, their hair isn't long enough. Um, and we really want to dismantle some of those negative images that girls are exposed to from early. So by the time they go to secondary school, they're really, really confident in who they are and they have the right self-esteem to become leaders. So again, I think a lot of it is not being good enough, not feeling like you Even belong. Even at that age. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, they are, they, they see over a thousand images every single day of what perfect looks like or what beautiful looks like. And 
one of the things that I've identified is a lot of girls don't look in the mirror. So they are not actually connecting with themselves because they're actually afraid of what they will see and not loving what they see because of the imagery that they are exposed to every single day via social media. So that's why for me, um, Beam, again, beautiful, empowered and me, is really about, you know, dismantling some of those early images that they're seeing and making sure they fully understand how powerful it is to be a girl and, you know, what beauty really is. Because, you know, everyone's ideology of what beauty is very different. And with the older girls then who are in the, the next phase, I guess they're starting to explore their sexuality. How important and, and how often do those sorts of issues arise? Still, and like confidence and self-esteem tends to go down when girls um, go to secondary school. Mm. Because again, you're in a whole different setting, sometimes a setting um, with, with boys um, and you know, puberty throws up a lot, a oh, lot yeah. of things, you know, whether it's dealing with mental health, dealing with identity, again, dealing with belonging, you know, do I fit into this group? Do I not fit into this group? Dealing with unhealthy relationships. So I did a workshop with a school last week and we was we was exploring healthy relationship, unhealthy relationship mm. and toxic relationships. You know, and the girls are actually think was actually identifying toxic relationships that they're actually in and their friendships. So mm -hmm. again, as young people, they have a number of challenges as well as being judged on whether educationally they're good enough. Are they hitting the bar? Mm -hmm. 